Welcome back, my name is Patrick and this is Codexpect channel. In this video, let's focus on two things, the Magento plugin for PHPStorm and the feature known as URL Highlighter. The PHPStorm plugin is an essential tool for every Magento developer, as it helps a lot with everyday tasks. When working with Magento, you are often required to create numerous files of different types with different boilerplate code. However, with the PHPStore plugin, this process can become a lot of easier. You can simply select what you need, then input the necessary data, and then let the plugin handle the rest. With that, we can focus on implementing new features or extending Magento, rather than on writing Magento TED-used specific code. Let's then switch to PHP Storm. I will show you a couple of examples how we can use the plugin and later we'll configure URL highlighter in our PHP Storm. As a Magento developer, you will spend most of the time in the AppCode directory. This is a place where we store custom Magento modules. But what is a module? Module is a self-contained unit of functionality. It is a way of organizing and extending the core features of the Magento platform. Um, it can consist of code, configuration files, templates, layout files, languages or related assets. And by structuring functionality into modules, um, developers can create modular, raisable and independent units of code. So how we can do it? We can do it manually by creating um, directories and re registration files uh, but as I already mentioned it can be a tedious task you can make um, a lot of small mistakes um, so it is better to use Magento plugin for it so how we can use it let's first check if the Magento plugin is enabled let's go to the settings go to the plugin section and then find Magento PHP Storm and make sure that it is enabled it is in our case, so we can close the uh, pop-up. And now we can go to AppCode and click on New. Here you should see a new option that is called Magento 2 module. Let's click on it. And now we need to fill some data. First one is a package name, which is a vendor name. So in our case, this is CodeExpect. And vendor can have different set of modules. So as a vendor code expect, I can create a different modules. So now we need to create a module name. So for example, our module name will be product uh, analysis. Let's say a module that will analyze products. Uh, now we can set the version of the module, uh, license, dependencies, uh, and also we can add a description. So once it's done, we can either generate a readme file. So once it's done, uh, the package name and module name are required. We can click on OK. After a couple of seconds, you should see new directories and files inside of the upcode directory. The first one, code expect, is a directory of a vendor. The second one, the directory under uh, code expect is product analysis, which is the name of the module. And inside of it, we have our module files. Registration PHP registers this module inside of the Magento platform. Composer JSON is a file that can be used if you want to make this module public. If this is only inside of this project, you don't need to have Composer JSON. And there is etc directory, which stores most of the XML configuration files. And the first file which we see is module XML, which is also a file that consists a configuration and basically registers this module inside of the uh, Magento. Uh, so there is a module name definition. And if we extend this tag, we can set a version and also uh, if this module needs uh, some dependencies. After creating those basic files, we need to run bin Magento setup upgrade command which is required to register our module inside of Magento. So let's go to CLI and let's run it. Normally it takes a couple of seconds, so let's just wait for it. It 
which should be done in a second yes exactly so now we can switch to php storm and we need to check up etc config php in this file you should see uh, a new entry with the name of our module code expect product analysis it is set as one which means it is enabled um, you can make it as zero uh, to disable this module uh, or you can use bin magento bin magento uh, module enable or disable cli so if you run bin magento module we should see that there are two options let's well, just wait yeah there is module disable and enable so we can use it we can now even use bin magento module status code expect uh, product analysis let's see if this is enabled exactly module is enabled let's get back again to php storm and see what other options we have once our module is created we can create we can click on the product analysis directory use the shortcut uh, command n um, to open the new um, dialog and on the bottom you should see module file section you can also use the search in php storm um, to find magento 2 um, actions so for example you can see uh, a couple of options here um, for our example we will use the magento 2 cli comment so we will create just a sample comment which will be for example, the name class name which will be uh, product uh, analyze uh, command name and we can add some description but it's not required let's click on okay uh, some fields have errors okay description cannot be empty so just uh, dry run okay uh, we can see that the product analyze class was created inside of the console command directory we can see uh, a couple of options here like set name set description uh, and also in the etc directory we have a new file called dixml which is the definition of dependency injection i hope that now you can see how this plugin is really powerful we can focus on writing the execute method which is the implementation of this command and not on the boilerplate uh, which is specific to magento i hope also that you will use php storm plugin uh, in your project and you will use it for everyday tasks now let's focus on urn highlighters maybe you have already noticed but inside of the dixml or module xml we have something called no namespace schema location and right now it is highlighted as red so normally if there is something highlighted as red it means that it doesn't work and in this case it's true what is urn urn is stands for uniform resource name which is used to reference xsd schemas that define the correct structure of xml files and indeed for module XML, you can see that here the URN stands for, um, it locates the module etc, module XSD um, schema. And for example, in DIXML, the URN is different. It is object manager etc config XSD. So let's try to find this uh, file first. We can see that there is vendor Magento framework uh, and really there is this file so let's open it and as I already mentioned it contains the definition of the schema for the di xml so it contains uh, so it contains what tags can be used what options what attributes and so on so now there is a question how we can use it in php storm how this can be useful for us we need to go first to uh, cli or maybe let's open browser first because there is a whole um, page in the documentation for uh, for your highlighter so um, everything is described here but what is really uh, useful for us is this comment bin magento url catalog generate let's copy that and go to uh, cli let's paste it and maybe let's just use the help option to see what uh, configuration of this comment uh, we, we have 
um, we can specify the IDE by default. This is PHPStorm, but you can also specify VS Code if you use that. Um, let's run this comment. By default, it's PHPStorm, so we don't need to define it. Uh, we just need to um, specify the path for PHPStorm. This is IDE MISC XML, so let's just use it. After the comment is done, we can switch to PHPStorm and we can notice that URN is no longer highlighted as red. It means that schemas are loaded and we can use PHPStorm to help write those XML files. We can see that it already started to uh, add some suggestions. So for example, for the tag type, we can see attribute shared uh, and what options of this attribute can we have. So true or false. We can even check in the settings of PHPStorm in languages and frameworks and schemas and DDTs section that URN are loaded here and there is a mapping of the URN to the path of the in the project inside of the project. With that being configured, I think we can finish for today. I hope with this overview you will be more eager to use the Magento PHP Storm plugin uh, and that it will help you with your everyday tasks. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.